Welcome to the Company Research video series. In this video, we're going to cover using Google and Wikipedia to your advantage as you start your research on the company or organization you're interested in. If you typically start your research at Google, the example I'm going to use is Nike. If I just search for Nike on its own, the main website that it's going to take me to is Nike's fashion portal. This is where I can shop and learn more about them as a consumer. But when we're doing business research, we actually want to look for the information that business people would need to learn more about this organization. And to do that, we're going to have to use some different keywords. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in Nike like I did before, but I'm actually going to add the keyword investor relations. And you can see that this actually takes me to a different website, investors.nikeinc.com. The Google search results link me specifically to the stock information for Nike, but if I put my mouse over their investors menu, I can actually see a lot more information from a company perspective that will be interesting to me. One of the things you might want to check out first are the annual reports. Here I can find out how Nike did in 2019, 2018. You might also want to take a look at some of the other information that they have for investors. I can look at their board of directors, their company bylaws, and their management structure, including their main leadership. Back at Google, there's one other keyword you're going to want to add to your search. So I'm going to type in Nike again, but now I'm going to add the word careers. And you can see once again that they actually have a whole own website just for recruiting people to Nike, jobs.nike.com. Like many large organizations, Nike has an entire portal devoted just to recruiting top talent. This is where you'll see information about finding your fit or exploring the story behind Nike. You can use this information to get a sense of the organizational culture, uh, the history of the organization, and some of the opportunities they're planning to act on, and even just what it might be like to work there. Okay, so that's using Google to land on two websites you might not have known about before starting this research. Let's also jump to one of the other places people like to start their research, which is at Wikipedia. I'm gonna type in Nike, and then just the keyword wiki, and that will usually take us straight there. Now, you know you're not supposed to use Wikipedia uh, in your research, but if you haven't learned much about the organization before, this is an opportunity to set a baseline for the information you might be interested in. For example, I can see that they're a publicly owned company, which means I'm going to be able to find a lot of information about them. I can see who the key people are in the organization if I want to do further research. I can see the products they produce, like athletic footwear and apparel and athletic and recreational products and sports equipment. And this tells me in a lot of ways what industries they're active in. Now, a lot of this information we're gonna cover and find in the library databases, but this helps give us a baseline for what we can find later. Okay, so we used Google and Wikipedia and Nike's own website to our advantage to set a baseline for what we wanna learn about this organization. If you're keeping track with the checklist, we were able to find a brief history of the organization, its mission and purpose, some of its products and some of its services. We also were able to find its organizational structure and who some of its leaders are. We're going to keep looking in the future to see if we can find out more information, such as the industries it operates in, its market share in those industries, and its competitive position. Hopefully we can find key opportunities it's pursuing and how it plans to achieve them, as well as challenges and a sense of its organizational culture. That concludes using Google and Wikipedia to your advantage when researching a company.